All right, so next morning, first night with our baby chickens that we just received. In the previous video, you could see the baby chickens that we just got. This is our first night outside at day one, and it's always a little bit nerve wracking, but let's see how they did. How you guys doing in here? You alive? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, they're looking alive, which is awesome. It's always a little bit nerve wracking on their first night. It's actually pretty chilly right now, but they seem to be alive and, and active. So they're looking really great on the grass. And I think it's important that we need to keep them on the grass uh, and take them out of the kiddie pool during the day. And I don't know, kind of fill it out and see just kind of their growth. And maybe we might ha keep them in the kiddie pool maybe maybe one or two more days. And then also, we're still getting 30 more meat birds. <laughs> these, these are Cornish crosses, and we're getting a batch of Freedom Rangers. And we should be getting those maybe today, maybe the next couple days. I don't know, any day now. So yeah, the first night is always a little bit nervous. I, I didn't sleep a wink last night. <laughs> I almost came down and, and slept with the chickens. <laughs> Can't forget about the big chickens. They always, they always get a little jealous every time we get uh, the baby chicks. I can tell. <laughs> don't be jealous. You don't want to be part of them. <laughs> Good morning, Bernice. You sitting on some eggs this morning? Yep. We just picked up more baby chicks at the post office. Yeah, Alright Penelope, we need to put them in to get them some water. We need to introduce them to the other chickies. Close the door. These chickens are from uh, Freedom Ranger Hatchery and these are Freedom Rangers. These are the chickens that we typically raise every single year, which I really, really like. We ordered 30 of these to the chickens. Uh, they didn't make it. And that's just how it goes. I mean, sometimes you might lose one or two in the mail, in that mailing process. And that's just, that's just what happens. And so usually they'll send out a couple extra. But in this case, we have 29 of them. On the Cornish crosses that we got yesterday, we have 33 of those. So... I think it'll all work out. So the Cornish Crosses are from Cackle Hatchery, and the Freedom Rangers are from Freedom Ranger Hatchery. <laughs> both of the Cornish Crosses and the Freedom Rangers, they're both the same age. And so first time raising Cornish Crosses, and so I'm, I'm just curious to see what's the difference between the two. Why did we get different breeds of chicken? For us, I just wanted to see the difference. And I wanted to see it for myself. There's plenty of videos out there. There's plenty of really knowledgeable people, really uh, great content out there on the difference between Cornish Crosses and Freedom Rangers uh, that you can look up. But uh, I wanted to see for myself. I wanted to be the one to say, yes, I've raised Cornish Crosses. I've raised both breeds. And this is the difference. And I'll know firsthand. I want to be the one to say, yes, this is the difference because I know from experience. And I believe if you want to learn how to raise your own meat chickens, it's good to experiment. You know, it's good to try different things, try different breeds, seeing what, what you like, seeing what works. Um, you know, we may like the Cornish Crosses better than the Freedom Rangers. I don't know. I know plenty of people that just raise Cornish Crosses and don't raise Freedom Rangers and the other way around. And so, really, I just want to see what's the difference. 
the little subtle differences that I see right away are, of course, the color. One's a little bit redder, a little browner, the Freedom Rangers. And then these are the Cornish Crosses where they're actually kind of yellow, almost white. Um, so that's a like a major difference there. And then also I noticed after they were uh, out of the box and I dipped their heads in water and they got the water in their system, the Cornish Crosses uh, seem still very uh, lethargic and like kind of slow. And they were, they were just kind of like just standing there right out of the box. And it took a little bit of time for them to warm up, and, and then they, they started running around. But, but I noticed the Freedom Rangers, as soon as we did that, they were out. They were ready to go. They were digging in the dirt. They were in the grass. I mean, they were just right out of the box. They were ready. <laughs> so I think that's like a couple differences that I noticed right away at like day one. And these guys are the same age, which is like a couple days old. But now me. What's going on with your car? Uh, that's their car. <laughs> They're gonna be riding in their car? That's their pickup truck. <laughs> Alright, I could sit here and and just watch these chickens all day long, but I will get nothing done. <laughs> all right, I'm in my shop today. So usually when I'm not raising chickens, <laughs> growing food, I'm either editing movies or I'm in the shop building stuff for our shop or custom orders or for maybe for our website. And today I'm building a bookcase or a bookshelf uh, this is going to be for our shop in Asheville. I'm going to take it there. Hopefully I can finish it soon. My shop's a little mess, messy today. Whenever it's messy, that means I'm super busy, which is super great. <laughs> uh, much love to you guys. I, I can't keep supply of my spoons. <laughs> I guess that's a good problem to have, but you know, I'm, I'm working on it. These are still in the works and a few of these are already spoken for <laughs> which is awesome i appreciate all all the work i appreciate uh everyone buying from the stuff that we make just to let you guys know we're doing a meet the vendor night <laughs> at our shop in Asheville, north carolina and there's going to be other vendors there that whole like maker space that we belong to that we have a shop at uh, there's going to be other vendors there it's going to be like a pop-up shop the date on that is going to be May 25th, and we are located inside Atomic Furnishing and Design in Asheville, North Carolina. I will leave a link down to the address down in the notes of this video. But yeah, we're going to be there uh, after 1 o'clock, after 1 p.m., we're going to be there hanging out. So if you're local to Asheville, come say hi. Uh, so in a previous video, we showed you that we have baby bunnies in the greenhouse. And so let's see what's going on with them. Where are the baby bunnies at? They're gone. <laughs> they've moved out. They've, they've all moved out. They've grown up. They've opened their eyes. They hopped away. They ate some of my, my spinach. And they've moved out. What about this, Penelope? What is that? Pumpkin! Pumpkin's growing? Yeah. Oh, man. This is your row, isn't it? Yep. We filled this up this morning to feed. <laughs> They, they, they ate it. <laughs> they ate it pretty good. You guys all right? You guys look plump. <laughs> all right, so all the chickens are here. We officially have 62 chickens. I'll switch them over into another chicken tractor. I'll split them up and I'll move them on grass every single day. So our fourth season of uh, raising pasture chickens it's, is well on its way.